F-22 Interceptor for the Sega Genesis, copyright 1991. What's most interesting about this game is that the F-22 was not even in service in 1991 when this game was released. In fact, it would take about 15 more years for the F-22 Raptor to enter military service at a cost of about $140 million per airplane. The actual F-22 costs a great deal more than this game, which runs $1, which I think was overpaying. But to be fair, it does try some pretty innovative things for 1991. It doesn't withstand the test of time well, I'm afraid. Let's hope that the actual F-22 Raptor, manufactured by Lockheed Martin, handles better than the plane in this game. Because F-22 Interceptor handles like a ton of bricks with slowdown. It has extremely, extremely sluggish gameplay with choppy graphics. And compared to other games on the Genesis like Afterburner 2, it's, it's practically unplayable. It's a friendly game. The bad guys all eject safely when you destroy their aircraft. Just like G.I. Joe. Remember that from the cartoons? They could hit any helicopters or trouble bubbles or aircraft with whatever kind of massive weaponry and the pilots would just eject out safely. Anyway, I think this game does deserve some credit for having this camera angle and a cockpit view. When you launch a missile, the camera perspective would then move to the point of view of the missile, and for some of the missiles, like this one, you would actually get control of the missile itself so you could guide it into enemy aircraft or ground targets. Pull up. Kind of neat, but also very distracting at the same time. It's hard to remember exactly what it was like playing these more simulation-style flight combat games back in the late 80s or early 90s. I spent a lot of time with two PC games in particular, F-15 Strike Eagle and F-19 Stealth Fighter. I doubt I could stomach either of them today because they probably play a lot like this game. I think now I'm just used to very smooth gameplay for these kind of games, and even on the Sega Genesis games like Afterburner 2 are wonderfully smooth, slick arcade games. The simulation style flight game just does not work well on the Genesis, putting you in this three-dimensional environment. It doesn't work well with games like LHX Attack Chopper, and it does not work well here with F-22 Interceptor. But this game is one of the great grandparents or grandparents of games like Hawks. So it should be respected from that standpoint. However, I just don't think it's playable by a modern audience. If you're into retro gaming and classic video games and arcade style games, get Afterburner 2. Or Air Diver. Even Air Raiders on the Atari 2600 is smoother and more playable than this game. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. If you hold down the B and the C button together, this screen pops up. So if you're trying to machine gun somebody and then slide your finger over and launch a missile, you just stop the game and bring up this screen. I'm going to have to dig out my F-19 Stealth Fighter 5 and a quarter inch floppy disk and give that game a play one of these days. Which means I'm going to have to find a 5 and a quarter inch floppy drive. I'll just download it somewhere. So I paid a buck for the game, I got my enjoyment out of it by getting to share it with all of you. F-22 Interceptor.